The first measure I wish to announce is review of the regulatory framework for electronic trading platforms. The Reserve Bank's extant regulatory framework for electronic trading platforms was issued in 2018. In view of the subsequent developments in markets, products and technology, etc., a revised regulatory framework for, for this uh, electronic trading platforms will be issued for stakeholders feedback. The next announcement relates to hedging of gold price risk in the OTC market that is over the counter market in the International Financial Services Center IFSC. In December 2022, the Reserve Bank had permitted resident entities to hedge their gold price risk in recognized exchanges in the IFSC. It has now been decided to allow resident entities to hedge the price of gold. Now let me rephrase, let me just read it again. It has now been decided to also allow resident entities to hedge the price of gold in the OTC segment in the IFSC. This will provide more flexibility to resident entities in hedging their exposure to gold prices. The next announcement is actually very important and has far reaching consequences particularly it is something which will really benefit the small borrowers from the you know from the lending sector from banks and other entities. At present and that relates to you know that relates to key fact statement that is KFS for retail and MSME loans and advances. At present the loans and advances availed by borrowers apart from including the rate of interest also include other fees and charges such as the processing fees, documentation charges, etc. So as a result what happens is that the customer he knows that the loan carries an interest of so much percentage but then there are other charges and fees, etc. Which he, which he pays upfront. Now that also needs to be loaded into the actual interest rate. So the customer has a clear idea that what is the actual annualized interest rate that he pays. And this is something on which uh, you know as you are aware as I have said a little earlier, customer centricity is something on which the Reserve Bank lays a great emphasis in the overall public interest. Now to enhance transparency in disclosure of such information that is information on various charges, fees, etc. The Reserve Bank had mandated certain categories of lenders to provide the borrower a key fact statement that is KFS containing essential information such as all inclusive annual percentage rate and recovery as and also details of the recovery and grievance redress mechanism. The requirement of the key fact statement is now being extended to cover all retail and MSME loans. This measure will lead to enhanced transparency in lending and enabling and will enable customers in making informed decisions. The circular will be issued separately. Obviously, we have to give some time to the banks to comply with these requirements because uh, you know quite a few preparatory action needs to be taken at the end of the banks. The next an announcement relates to enhancing the robustness of AEPS. Aadhaar enabled payment systems that is AEPS has played an important role in financial inclusion by enabling customers to make digital payment transactions through service providers such as business correspondents. Given their significance, it is proposed to streamline the process for onboarding of AEPS service providers and introduce some additional fraud risk management measures. This measure will further strengthen the security of the AEPS system and enhance its robustness. The next announcement relates to principle based framework for authentication of digital payment transactions. Over the years, the Reserve Bank has proactively facilitated introduction of various mechanisms such as additional factor of authentication for securing digital payments. While no particular mechanism was specified by the Reserve Bank, SMS based OTP that is one time password has become very popular. With technological advancements however, alternative authentication mechanisms have emerged in recent years. Therefore, 
to facilitate adoption of alternative authentication mechanisms for enhancing the security of digital payments, it is proposed to put in place a principle based framework for authentication of such transactions. The next and the final announcement, the last announcement relates to introduction of programmability and offline functionality in central bank digital currency pilot projects. The CBDC that is central bank digital currency retail, the CBDC retail pilot currently enables person to person and person to merchant transactions. It is now proposed to enable additional functionalities of programmability and offline capability in CBDC retail payments. Programmability will facilitate transactions for specific or targeted purposes, while offline functionality will enable these transactions in areas with poor or limited internet connectivity. Mm -hmm.